Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We are hearing tonight from the family of the woman killed in a crane tragedy at the Oak Ridge Park construction site this week. CTV's Ben Milger sat down with her grieving partner who says the most difficult part of this ordeal was breaking the news to his stepchildren. You know, I remember all the things he used to say. Growing up in Acapulco, Daniel Hernandez fell in love with the girl next door. After a few years apart, she joined him in Canada, and from that point, he says, their life was like a romantic movie. It felt that way until now, and this now became a reality, right? This, we can't change this, can come back from this. 41-year-old Euridia Flores, a mother of two, had a job as a general laborer at Oak Ridge Park, a massive construction project. Wednesday, a large wooden form fell from a crane and broke into pieces, striking and killing Flores where she stood on the ground. Hernandez also works at Oak Ridge Park, but had left for the day when a co-worker called and told him the tragic news. He rushed back to the job site, but he wasn't able to see the body. Could have just, like, hold her, kiss her, right, and say a, a goodbye, like, she deserved it. He says breaking the news to his 16-year-old stepson was the most difficult thing he has ever had to do. She's gone, Diego. To don't say the word, it's like, no, why? And she started crying and everybody hugging. Flores also had a daughter who still lives in Mexico, which is where the family plans to hold a funeral for her. A GoFundMe to help cover those costs has already raised thousands of dollars. Hernandez says Flores was a loving mother, a woman who always strived to do the right thing and encouraged him to be the best person he could be. What are you going to miss about her? The way that she used to kind of try to straighten me up when I went to try to do the shortcut. WorkSafe BC is leading the investigation into the fatal tragedy with help from the coroner and Vancouver police as they try to determine a cause. As Hernandez prepares to bring his love home to her final resting place, he wonders how he will face her parents. But I can't talk to the mom because I bring her here. How, how can I tell her now bringing her back, and, but she has no life? He will carry his grief and the memory of her love forever. Ben Milger, CTV News, Surrey.